In the first tutorial we've created a rough edit in order to save the ocean from our plastic waste. If I want to rearrange my clips I can easily drag around the clips on my magnetic timeline. In between the shots of plastic and the beautiful ocean with the turtle and the jellyfish I would like to create a transition. Select the transition workspace button to reveal that interface. In here we will find a few basic transitions that you can use. I would like to use the dip to white transition to emphasize we are entering the dream of a plastic free ocean. Just select the transition and leave it in between the two shots. We can also adjust the length of the transition by extending it. I'll do that again over here. The shot with the jellyfish will become more beautiful if you would create a slow motion effect on it. Go to the speed workspace and then select the jellyfish clip. Slow down the clip to let's say 60% and cut off the extra bit to keep the edit a 30 second length. Now let's add some titles on here. We will start with a big title at the start of our video with the text What are we doing to our ocean? In order to do that we will need to open the title workspace. So let's open it. In here we find a variety of titles and lower thirds we can use. I'm searching for the one that looks best for my story. When you found the right title, drag it just above the clip on the timeline and let go. By double clicking on the text you will be able to alter the text. In the options on the right hand side of the interface we can make several adjustments. But what you can alter is up to the original design of the template. Based on my original idea for this edit I will need to create multiple titles. Finally I want to add a little bit more drama to the shots. It's also possible to alter the title. If you only want to have one line of text just disable the color of the text and the color of the shape in the background. If you want to reposition the text you'll need to go into the crop and rotate workspace in order to move it horizontally or vertically. Adding drama can be done by doing some color grading in the color workspace. There are some great presets available in here which you can add to your clips on your timeline. In this case I will select one shot and add a cinematic look. If this is not exactly what you want then it's possible to edit the shot by jumping into the edit panel and play with things like exposure, shadow highlights etc. By now I think the video is done. Ready to leave your computer and find its way to YouTube, Facebook or somewhere else. You'll need to export, let's say share your video. So let's select share and give your file a name. In here you can select the folder to save it to let's say your desktop. When you enable YouTube or one of the other options you will be able to upload your video directly to that platform when you are signed in. With all settings correct hit export and you will have your video ready to be shared. Thank you for taking this course and keep in mind that there's plenty more to learn on the Adobe Education Exchange. Hi everyone, thanks for watching. Click the link in the description below to explore more free online professional development on the Adobe Education Exchange. And click the link on screen to subscribe to the channel for more videos.